Howdy folks, I'm KG Kylum, cautiously calling curmudgeonly critters. I'm Amber. And here are more curmudgeonly critters for us to call, and Kylum is apparently a chisel. So, uh, yeah. Or a graving tool, according to uh, NASA. Same thing, but a little more morbid. Yes. Let's get started. All right, folks, and our first letter is titled, Am I a jerk for not complimenting my wife so that she won't become vain? Context, my wife is a 29-year-old female, and I am a 31-year-old male, and we've been together for 10 years. We share three children, a 9-year-old, a 7-year-old, and a 5-year-old. My wife was never someone who really dressed up or put much thought into her looks. She always has been beautiful, but never did much to highlight it until recently. She went through this crisis of feeling like she didn't have a personality outside of being a mom. Something like that. So, for the last two years, she started traveling more, joining different groups, dressing really nicely, and wearing makeup. I never realized how much of a difference it would make, but people treat her completely differently. She is constantly getting compliments, told that she should be in magazines. She'll come home and happily tell me about a random stranger who was so nice to her. She randomly gets gifts. Lady at her job bought her a book series that she was interested in. She gets hit on. When we go out, all these dudes want to buy her drinks. Even my family has noticed. And all of a sudden, it seems like they're wondering how I ended up with her. Honestly, it's a bit overwhelming for me and something that I'm just not used to. It's kind of become annoying. Anyways, she was going out with some friends and she asked me how she looked. I said, fine. She seemed so disappointed with this. My sister was over and commented that I should hype her up. I said, why should I when the world already does? That I don't want her thinking of herself too highly and becoming more vain. My sister looked shocked when I said this and said that was messed up. Said it was low-key abusive and that I'm a jerk. I think that she's overthinking this, but I decided to get some outside opinions. So am I the jerk? All right, folks, what do you think? Yeah, I think OP's being a jerk here. It sounds like this is probably coming from a place of insecurity, but this is not the way to approach things. And it's not even in his own best interest. Like, if the entire rest of the world is hyping up his wife, and he's over here like, eh, you look fine. You, know, you shouldn't get too vain. Like, what incentive does she have to stick with the man who's bringing her down? Yeah, well, you know, that is the question. Is like, if she's getting all of these, uh, you know, people who are complimenting her and stuff like that, and she feels like these affirmations, maybe she wants affirmations from her husband too, right? And if OP comes across as really, you know, disinterested, then this might be something that she catches on to and she might look for affirmation somewhere else. And if somebody else is like complimenting her and everything like that, and this isn't a need that she's getting fulfilled at home, then she might turn outside of the relationship for those needs. So, I mean, I'd recommend that OP go to therapy to mm -hmm. do, work through these insecurities. Uh, the appropriate way to handle this is not to try and tear your wife down or make her feel like she shouldn't wear makeup or anything like that it's to work on op's own self-image well okay and if op noticed that his wife was acting really arrogant and you know kind of out of line here like she was demanding that people like give her free stuff and stuff like that just because she looks good then he would have a place to start talking to her and be like honey maybe you should tone this back a little bit right but what he's describing right here doesn't tell me that she's being like overly arrogant or she's being like a, you know, a brat, for instance, who expects people to grovel in front of her. It sounds like she's just looking for a little affirmation in f from her husband. Right. Well, and it sounds like he hasn't been probably giving her much attention for a while. Like she felt like she was only a mom. It doesn't sound like OP was doing anything to help her form a separate identity. Yeah. And like she has all these new hobbies. Is OP like doing things with her or does she have to do everything solo? Yeah. And it's clear that she just wasn't happy with the status quo and she went out of her way to change herself and reinvent herself. And that's sometimes what you have to do. And maybe OP feels like they're being left behind in that. And again, I agree with Amber here that maybe therapy is a really good place to start on that because it might allow him to start to move forward in maybe reinventing himself or just accepting things as they are and, you know, developing some new hobbies and interests with his wife. But I think, again, he's really overplaying this and he's making this excuse of like, oh, I just don't want her to become cocky or arrogant. Well, you know, 
you're not giving us any signs that she's acting like that. So this really does seem more internal than anything. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. And username52 says, you're the jerk. Did you ever compliment her before? When the world wasn't complimenting her? Or did you treat her just like a mom or something like that? And OP replies, yeah, I did all the time. I'm just saying too many compliments can go to somebody's head. I don't think that she needs that. Well, it sounds like she just wants validation from her husband like she used to receive, and he's taken that away from her. Mm -hmm. And Vision Creation Sun O says, out of interest, where did you get this idea that too many compliments can go to somebody's head? She's a grown woman, and she has three kids. Sounds like she's very much appreciating the compliments that she's getting and thriving as a result. And OP replies, I just don't want her to become one of those girls that seeks validation or is fishing for compliments. Also, placing too much value on her looks. And falling into polka dots says, You're the jerk. Dude, if your wife doesn't think or know or hear you express that you think that she's beautiful, then what's going to stop her from leaving you for someone who does tell her that she's beautiful and treats her wonderfully? Your wife is beautiful and you thought that she was great even without all that makeup and the new style and the new interest. Now she has all of those things. And what? Do you feel left behind? Do you take any interest in her new interests? Travel with her at all? What are you doing to make sure that your wife feels seen? Or are you just bitter that she's finally realizing that she's beautiful and interesting and worthy of all this friendship and kindness from others and wondering where you stand in all this? I think that she's awesome for taking charge of her life and herself. She didn't feel like she was seen or acknowledged or anything other than a mom. And did you do anything to make her feel like she was loved, beautiful wife that she is? And she endeavored to change that. And it's bearing beautiful fruit. Your wife is awesome. All right, folks, and our next letter is titled, My boyfriend got rid of some of my clothes. How do I talk to him about this in a productive way? My boyfriend is a 28-year-old male, and I'm a 22-year-old female, and we've been together for almost two years. We recently moved in together, so we have been trying to adjust to that. I recently went with my family for a week to see another side of my family. Boyfriend didn't want to go, but was very much invited. He didn't want me to go because he thought that I was being irresponsible. I disagreed because I told work in plenty of time and I could afford it. I got back last weekend and when I got home, he had rearranged almost everything. I was sort of upset because I think that he should have talked to me first. I didn't think that it was worth making a big deal out of it, so I didn't say anything. I noticed that my closet had a lot less in it, but thought that he put some of it in the guest room where I already have some of my stuff. I realized yesterday that I was missing a lot of my stuff and couldn't find things. I asked him about it and he told me that he went through everything in the house and got rid of some of my stuff because I was taking up space and didn't wear them. I did wear a bunch of those things and I know he hasn't kept track of what I do and I don't wear in his head. He bought me a necklace when I got home, so I haven't talked to him about this yet because I would feel like a jerk. I want to sit down with him this weekend and go over it without getting into an argument. I don't want to be walked all over, but I also don't want to make this a huge deal should I bring this up. I already told him not to do that in the future. All right, folks, what do you think? I mean, I think this is a huge deal. I know OP doesn't really want an argument or whatnot, but this is something that is worth having an argument over. Mm -hmm. What he did is completely inexcusable. Those were your property, and only you have a right to decide what, what stays and what goes. Like, it's fine to talk to your partner and be like, hey, your clothes take up the entire room. Can you please thin some stuff down? It's another thing to go through their things without their consent mm -hmm. and throw out stuff. And my guess is that either one, he's trying to punish OP for going on the trip, or two, he is trying to control her wardrobe in some other way. Mm -hmm. So I'd look and see if there's a trend with the items he threw out. Or both. Or both. Right. Maybe he views this, viewed this as a golden opportunity to go ahead and, you know, get rid of some stuff that he didn't like. And also feels that she should deserve that she deserves this because she went and did something irresponsible so now he has to punish her in order to you know show her that yeah when you go away things happen when you're not around and then you you know i'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and do things and if you're not here to stop me then i'm gonna do it i think that this was feels a lot like reprisal feels a lot like 
what he's doing here is trying to control OP in one way or another. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's going to be a little more hesitant next time to leave somewhere when he's like, well, I don't think you should go because what else is he going to do the next time that she's gone, right? And OP is absolutely right. He should have talked to her about all of this before going ahead and throwing out her stuff. Just because you live with someone doesn't mean that you have a right to throw out their stuff or get rid of it just because you think it's taking up too much space. And like Amber said, you can talk to them. You can say, hey, can you please thin out your stuff here? You're taking up too much space and it's just really making things difficult. But again, I don't feel like there is room or a right to throw out someone's stuff. If it becomes a deal breaker, then it is something that you can end a relationship on. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. And who even cares? 39 says, just out of curiosity, did you guys move in together or did he move in with you? And OP replies, I moved in with him. And Grumpy G says, why are you the jerk here? He throws away your clothes. This is like stealing. You are way too calm. Tell him to get your clothes back or pay you for them. How would he feel if you threw his stuff away without asking? This isn't the first time that he's taken something away from you as a punishment, right? And Love Snaps Say It Woke says, This is a huge red flag to me. It's not just stealing, it's disregarding her choices and controlling as well. Alright folks, it is tea time. Grab your beverages of choice. I've got some tea right here, and Amber, she has a joke or a rhyme. Why should you go to the candle party? You should go to the candle party because if you don't, then the candles will come to you for a party and then your house will get burnt down. Because it's lit. Because it's lit? Yes. I suppose it is. Everything is fine. And I have Earl Grey. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Happy special Sunday. And folks, you know what makes it special? You do. And Amber, too. And Brian, too. Amber, we need some kind of moral advice and or guidance. And please have it the title of a magazine. Don't try to control how your partner looks. Five easy tips. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess I, there would be one easy tip is just don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.